Hi everybody, it's Adam with HeartValveSurgery.com. We are here at the Heart Valve Summit and I'm thrilled to be joined by Dr. David Adams, who's one of the course directors of this program. He's also the cardiac surgeon in chief at Mount Sinai Hospital in New York. Dr. Adams, thanks for being with us. Hey Adam, good to see you again. So as you know, we're answering the patient questions that were submitted by you at our Facebook page. And this is a great question, uh, Dr. Adams, that came in from George Smith and he writes, Adam, how does mitral regurgitation cause tricuspid regurgitation? Okay, that's an, actually an important question, Adam. The, the right ventricle, that we have mirror valves in our heart. The tricuspid valve and the mitral valve are both atrioventricular valves. So we have two atria and two ventricles. The right ventricle pumps blood to the lungs, the left ventricle pumps blood to our body. If the mitral valve loses its seal, it starts to leak, that raises, that turns the blood backwards. It raises the pressure in the, in the pulmonary arteries that puts more pressure on the right ventricle and the right ventricle can start to dilate. And actually it's the free wall of the right vent ventricle that changes and that starts to pull open the tricuspid valve. So it's been well recognized for many years that mitral valve disease, if you stop the flow of blood and it reverses, that puts pressure on the right side and that starts to increase, the, or it will, can increase dysfunction in the tricuspid valve. Reason I said that's an important problem because there's a lot of new data, including a very important paper that we published from our own experience in patients in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology, describing a treatment for tricuspid regurgitation or prophylaxis against it at the time of mitral surgery, and that's why many patients today that undergo mitral valve repair for prolapse also undergo a tricuspid valve repair, either to correct existing tricuspid regurgitation or to try and prevent it in the future. Great. Well, I hope that helped you learn more about uh, tricuspid regurgitation and the treatment simultaneous of mitral valve disease and tricuspid valve disease. And Dr. Adams, I just, as always, I have to extend an extraordinary thanks to you and your entire team for the work that you're doing on behalf of all of our members in our community. Thank you for transforming the education of our community and helping patients get the best possible outcomes that they can. Thanks for all your incredible support. Thanks, Adam. Appreciate it.